In this video tutorial, you'll learn how easy it is to use the fiscal calendar to lock and unlock fiscal years and periods for individual SAGE ERP ACBEC modules. As you learned in the previous video on preparing to lock fiscal periods, it's important to plan workflow and understand how transactions flow through the ERP system before you begin locking fiscal periods for individual modules. If you haven't watched the video on preparing to lock fiscal periods, we strongly recommend that you watch it before continuing. You'll learn best practices for locking fiscal periods, including why it's important to lock operations modules before financial modules, why you should lock bank services together with modules that integrate directly with it, and why it's important to create and post all outstanding GL batches for a fiscal period before you lock it for GL. You'll also learn how to set up an option that determines whether the system displays a warning message, an error message, or no message when someone tries to post to a locked period. After you've reviewed this information and set up your system, you're ready to use the fiscal calendar to begin locking and unlocking fiscal periods. In Common Services, you can use the Fiscal Calendar screen to create a new fiscal year. Or to set a fiscal year to inactive to prevent any postings to that year. You can also lock and unlock adjustment periods and the closing period a one-day period that falls on the last day of the fiscal calendar during which all revenue and expense accounts are closed to the retained earnings account. Finally, you can also lock and unlock fiscal periods and years by module. Before you begin, it's important to note that you should lock or unlock fiscal periods only when no one is using the system, because any changes you make to the calendar affect processing only after you save. Fiscal periods and their start and end dates appear in columns, with modules in rows. To lock or unlock a fiscal period for a single module, double-click the cell in the period column for that particular module, or select the cell and press the spacebar. For example, you can lock period 7 for accounts receivable but leave period 7 open for accounts payable. To lock or unlock a fiscal period for all modules, double-click Lock column or Unlock column for the period. To lock or unlock all fiscal periods for a single module, double-click Lock row or Unlock row for that module. To lock or unlock all periods and all modules at once, double-click Lock All or Unlock All. Only activated transaction-oriented modules appear on the fiscal calendar. For example, tax services will never appear on the fiscal calendar because transactions never originate in the tax services module. Let's take a deeper look at how the fiscal calendar works together with transaction processing. Say you want to prevent order entry personnel from entering any further shipments into the July fiscal period, which is period 7. In the company profile, the current selection for locked fiscal period is error. This means that anyone trying to post to a locked fiscal period will see an error message and will be unable to proceed with posting. On the Fiscal Calendar screen, you can lock Period 7 for order entry only. In Order Entry, let's open the Order Entry Shipment Entry screen and try to enter an OE shipment for July 31st. You're able to enter the shipment details, but when you try to post this transaction with a posting date of July 31st, you'll see an error message and you are prevented from posting that shipment. 
If you've selected Warning for Locked Fiscal Period on the Company Profile screen, you'll be able to continue to post the shipment even though the posting date corresponds to the Locked Period 7 for OE. As you've learned, you should always lock Operations modules before Financial modules. If you don't, modules with locked fiscal periods will receive generated transactions, which can result in unexpected behaviors. For example, say you lock AR but leave OE unlocked. If you have set up OE to post to AR automatically, posting an OE invoice would succeed, but would generate an error batch when you try to post the batch in AR if you selected that option in the company profile. The best way to prevent this is by locking modules that generate transactions, such as OE, before you lock modules that receive transactions, such as AR. For more information about setting up fiscal period locking, see the System Manager help for Fiscal Calendar.